Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I want to show you how to connect the Yamaha MG10XU audio mixing console to your iPad. This is a common question that we get as to how to connect this console to an iPad, and using GarageBand on the iPad is becoming increasingly popular for those who are recording at home. So here we have the console in front of me and the iPad. The biggest challenge in this situation is to get from the lightning port of the iPad to USB. For that, we use the official from Apple lightning to USB adapter. The reason that we recommend the official one from Apple is because Apple is constantly doing security updates for the security of the lightning port on the bottom of the iPad. So we believe that by using the official adapter from Apple that they will continue to support this in the future with firmware updates and such. But if you use a third party piece of hardware, you cannot guarantee that Apple will continually leave the door open. They may close it off for security reasons uh, when you're using a third party adapter. So hopefully you have better luck with the official one from Apple is what we're thinking. So that's why we recommend the one from Apple. Now, if you have an iPad Pro, you can use a USB-C to USB multi-port adapter. Uh, so we have the links for both of those in the description below. So I'm gonna connect this to the iPad. And then I'm going to connect the USB cable to the bottom uh, or the back of the audio mixer. And then I'm going to connect the USB end to the iPad. So once you connect, sometimes it takes a couple seconds for it to show up uh, in the iPad. So I'm going to go into the show file here, have a new show file, just wait for that pop up to come. Sometimes you have to re-plug it in, unplug it and re-plug it in. Once you're in the show file, so I'll just do that again here. And again, sometimes it just takes that five to 10 seconds to connect, but there we have the button that says turn on monitoring. So when you turn on monitoring there, what that will do is it will take the USB output from the iPad, bring it into this 910 line. So you want this top button pressed down, the next button you want pressed up, and then you want to uh, mute the output, and then you can use this for your headphone jack through the headphone output. So you can plug this into there, and then you can monitor from your iPad while you're recording. Next, I'm gonna plug in this condenser microphone. So in order to make a condenser microphone work, we need to turn on phantom power. Now for the Yamaha mixer here, I always start with the level, I bring it up to that zero or unity position, and then I increase the gain until we get to about minus six or zero there. So that's about right where I want it. And I always recommend that you leave the compression turned off and the EQ flat. If we're recording into something like GarageBand, we want GarageBand to do all the EQ. We don't wanna get caught by having something compressed that we can't undo later. So do all that in the software if possible. So now I'm gonna hit uh, record here. This is Jordan speaking into the AKG C3000B into the Yamaha MG10 with the USB output going through the Apple camera adapter into the lightning input on the iPad. And there you have it. So that's how you connect to an iPad. Now, if you have any questions about anything that you've seen, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you wanna see pricing or specs or make sure that you're buying the right adapter, we do have some links in the description below that you can check out. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, we have a huge playlist on videos of how to use the Yamaha MG10 XU audio console. And we do a ton of other videos as well. So please make sure that you like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.